fun, guys. But guys, we can't leave yet, because guess what? Papa needs to get his running shoes on. We're gonna be there soon. We're just gonna go for a quick run, and we might send the Nerf gun if you want. Good, buddy. Okay, we'll go up. We'll go up and around. Run. Here we go. All right, you guys lead. Birthday boy, Joseph. Let's let birthday boy lead first. Okay, yeah. Whoa, you guys, you guys are fast. Good job, guys. Okay, we're going, we're gonna go. Walking it up the hill. It's a, it's a good hill, all right. You caught your breath? Yeah. All right, let's go again. Follow Papa's pace, nice and easy. Follow Papa's pace. There you go, just like that. Nice and slow. Nice and slow. Ah, sometimes I go faster than this. Good job. <laughs> Good job. And guess what? We're at the corner. We're Yeah, good job, buddy. Here we go. Let's finish it off. Yeah. Woohoo! There's the park. We did. We made it. We made it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah, crushing it. Crushing it. I love to see that. Good job, guys. High five. These guys. Yeah. Oh man, all right, I'm leaving the St. Patrick's Day festivities real quick. Gotta go pick up some shoes, that's right. Shout out to Peter, taking care of me, taking care of me. All right, unlock the door. All right, so just waiting for Peter here at the Costco parking lot, and we're gonna get to the topic here in a minute, back of the studio, but a shout out to Mark, right? Mark is the one who is making this happen uh, basically, I'm getting a pair of Innovates. I'll just say it right now. And Peter is the connection making it happen uh, here at the uh, Costco parking lot. So I'm just kind of keeping an eye out for him. And bottom line, these shoes are perfect shoes on St. Patrick's Day. You'll see what I mean in a minute. Oh man, where is he? I think he's where over here. He? I think he's over here. Peter. Oh, man. Hey! Special look, delivery! Look at this guy! He's ready! St. Patrick's, good to see you, sir. Yeah, good to see yeah, you. Yeah, man, loving it. Especially All me. right. So I brought you some some hand delivered Dude. mud mud claw. You have the graphene version. You have no idea. Yeah, no yeah, idea. I've been this unveiling. This unveiling. Oh, I told uh, YouTube that the. You even got one of the. Oh, gators. Just one. Just one. Just one. No wait, there's there it is. Oh yeah, there we go. That's years. awesome. Yeah. All right, well, you all know how much I love the Arctic claws. So these are the mud claws. Oh my goodness, look at those lugs. Fresh, They're bulletproof too, because you have the Kevlar upper. Okay. And then you have the strongest uh, material on the planet. What's the depth of those lugs? Eight millimeters. Eight. I believe. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So it's basically a a talon of a yeah eagle or something. Yep. Yep. Essentially. I'm gonna be using them tomorrow. I'm gonna be using them tomorrow. Nice. Dude, thank you. Yeah. Yeah, man. All right, I'll put it back in there. Sweet. And look at this get up. You, you are just ready to rock and roll. Did you have I, fun in Boulder? I, oh, baby. All right, I gotta get back to a little St. Patrick's dinner. This is amazing. Thank you again, Peter, hooking the brother up. Oh, man. Look at these. Shove some more brownies in. Whoa, look at that. Oh, wow. What do you think? Cool. Did you win these? Did no, you they, the gentleman gave them to me. Oh, Go show, sure. show, show Mama. Oh, whoa. Yeah. Those things call, oh, those wow. Are, those are very cool. These are trail, those, wow. those are for, for mud. Those are serious. Well, do you like the color on St. Patrick's Day? Yes. Amen. Or yeah. you could use these oh, as soccer yeah. shoes. Yeah. Right? Yeah. 
Nothing like some good shepherd's pie on St. Patrick's Day. Okay, I'm a little under the weather, believe it or not. I like my head hurts a little bit, and I think it's either allergies or a head cold anyway. So we're going to keep today's vlog a little more simple as far as the editing goes. Don't worry, though. I'll be taking the mud claws out in the mountains tomorrow, so we'll, we'll, we'll make up for it tomorrow. Um, okay, we're on a journey together on this YouTube channel. I found this old banner ad on my phone today. Look at how many subscribers we were at one year ago. That's right, 800 and something. And listen, it's not about the number, right? It's about the conversation and the support. Okay, that's how I look at it. The conversation down in the comments and the support that we are providing and the encouragement that we are providing for each other through the Demore Global Running on Strava, through the comments down below, through Instagram, all over the place. And yes, now in person. Like we met, I met some guys last week uh, for the first time, like some people that uh, I had never met before, like some runners. And we just met and we encouraged each other to go run up that mountain. And so, we're on a journey here on this channel, and I frankly believe that we're just getting started. At least, that is my hope. Okay, four months ago, I did a workout downtown Denver. I, I switched shoes before the workout. I hid my Nike Vomero 14s in some bushes. I came back from the workout. They were gone. Somebody stole my Nike Vomero 14s. Well, I let all of you know, and sure enough, you guys st stepped up to the plate and bought me new Nike Vomero 14s. A gentleman, I think in New Jersey or New York, uh, created a GoFundMe page and boom, like that. Like we, well they, you guys raised the money very, very quickly. And that was the beginning of generosity on this channel. It frankly started with all of you. So fast forward to February 2019, so just two or three weeks ago, I pitched the idea to all of you, wait a minute, the internet sometimes gets bashed for not always, for like, it has a bad reputation sometimes, but I think the internet could be used for good, okay? Like we can connect people, and yes, connect running shoes to people who truly need them. So what did we do? Uh, I, I pitched the idea, like, if you guys have extra running shoes, send them to me, and then we'll do a live running shoe giveaway, and boom, we'll get running shoes to people who need them. And okay, this arrived in my email inbox just a couple hours ago. That's right, he's one of the first running shoe winners, and it's you know who you are who sent those to me, and then I was able to send them to him. And that's what I'm talking about when using the internet for good. Like, let's help each other out, whether it's through shoes, whether it's through training ideas, or whether it's through simply inspiration and motivation. And so here is the game plan moving forward for the running shoe giveaways, and also an idea that I've been mulling over, thanks to all of you. Okay. We will continue, so we're we're back up to about eight pairs that are sitting inside my house right now that are ready for the next giveaway. And I think what I'm gonna plan on is working up to 10, and every time we replenish the, uh, the stockade of running shoes, uh, then up to 10, then we will do the next giveaway. Uh, so that's, that's part one. So in addition to the running shoe giveaways, I wanna help, I wanna help. I wanna help the high schoolers, college students at some point and even even adults who truly truly like need help purchasing running shoes we all have hard times right here's my hoka claytons and i also found this photo on my phone today that is a photo from a race about 14 months ago where i was wearing this shoe that I bought off Craigslist for $20 because I could not afford to buy new running shoes. My family, we could not afford it. So I had to wear this old trainer. I had already put like 300 miles into the shoe at that point, and I was wearing them in a race. Like that was a race right there. Here's the idea. And again, this is connected back to the Vomero 14s and your generosity, connected back to where this channel has been in the last year, like where we were a year ago and where we are now. And, and to the generosity playing out before me, like before my very eyes today, thanks to Peter and Innovate. Like it's just, it's happening, it's happening. So three or four vlog fans have emailed me in the last two weeks saying, Seth, I would love to sponsor a pair of running shoes for someone who truly, truly needs them. 
And remember, the young man last week, he emailed me, told me his story, and basically his father, his stepfather was shot in the line of duty as a police officer, and now his father can't work, and now his family is struggling financially, and they cannot buy new running shoes. So I made the decision, this young man gets a new pair of running shoes. Um, so that is just one example of the emails that I have been getting. But the young man was smart because he, he sent me a, a link to an article about the story of his stepfather being shot. And so it basically verified the story. Um, and listen, we're working on the honor system here. I trust you guys. But what I'm thinking, I would be more than uh, excited and humbled to facilitate if people out there want to sponsor running shoes for people who truly, truly need them, I'm more than happy to do basically the, uh, I don't want to call it the vetting process, but I don't know a better way to, to, to phrase it, but basically to just verify like, okay, this person, they send me a picture of their used running shoes and there's hole, their toe is sticking out of the hole on the side of the shoe, or I, we literally get on the phone and we just talk it out and talk through their story. I'd be more than happy to basically create a, a database of people who truly, truly need running shoes and cannot afford them with people who are like, gosh, I've got 30 pairs of running shoes. Like now I do, but don't just remember, I was, this, this is my shoe last year, last year. I had this pair to race in one year ago. So things are looking up for me, but I know that, and things are looking up for many people out there who watch this channel regularly. Um, and maybe there's people that want to help others by buying them running shoes. So that is the focus of today's vlog. I don't know if that idea made sense. And basically, I'm, I'm ready. But I want to hear from you as well. Keyword is scholarships. That's right. Running shoe scholarships. Question of the day. What do you think about this idea? And do if you think it might be something we could explore, uh, is there... How do you think we could facilitate this? And guess what? I'm more than happy to help facilitate this, but if you have some ideas on how this could work uh, seamlessly to a certain extent, I'm all ears to listen to you, your ideas, and because there's a lot of people out there listening and watching. And ladies and gentlemen, that is my thought process for today's vlog. As you can tell, I'm excited, and I guess that vlog turned into a little more than I expected, but... Bottom line, um, some of the stories I've read are just straight up heartbreaking and I would love to help them. I can't buy them all new running shoes, but who knows? Maybe we can make something happen here together on YouTube. Sound good? Oh, thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Thanks for answering the question of the day and just giving your opinion about this idea. And uh, gosh, mm, seek beauty. Work hard and love each other. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.